room demo in route. So this was a vanity with one sink. You can see you got some linoleum, nice wallpaper under there. One of the issues we're gonna have is when they remove the wallpaper, they sprayed a knockdown finish because the uh, sheetrock was probably rough underneath. And we want smooth sheetrock, so all the sheetrock's gonna have to come out. And in here was a linen towel closet. Started to rip out, we gotta rip it out all the way. Found a vent pipe um, for the plumbing in a wall. Didn't know about that guy, but should be easy to move because we're gonna put a wall. Um, well, the new wall will come over about eight inches from that wall to, to divide into the two sections. We'll put the vent in there. And then in here, got the single vanity out in here. There's actually three layers of linoleum in here. The original. And these stick down tiles, which look like they'll be a chore to remove. And they got a thin piece of Luon type of plywood and then another layer of linoleum. So I gotta get all that up. And again, we have to take all the sheetrock down because it's all got knocked down on it. And gotta put the tub out. And yeah, I went downstairs and I've cut down cut off the water up here and then got it capped off so that I could use water in the rest of the house. Also got popcorn ceilings. They're gonna have to be scraped and we're gonna come back with a knockdown finish like we've done in the rest of the house. So we now have all the sheetrock down and uh, that's the door into the hallway. And we need to take down the rest of the framing on this linen closet that's going away. That's the door into the master. And you can see we got the sheetrock down, tub is out. Most of the floor, the floor is up, got a little bit of glue on the bottom of the linoleum. I'm gonna get some of that up a little bit more, but most of it's pretty good to go. Gotta take this wall out. And then we got to cut out old plumbing that won't be reused. Um, and then be ready to start roughing in the new plumbing. All right, so I have all the walls completely out that were here before, and I had to put some dead wood up there in a couple of spots. Well, actually, over here on this closet is where I had to put some dead wood mostly, and uh, put the new sheetrock up, and then we'll patch that over time here as and then the new wall they're gonna go right in here to separate these into a half bath and then the master bath but that new wall was right it's gonna go right where this electrical box is so it's getting a little bit darker in here had to uh, turn the power off to that and I'm going to try to get the two feeds. That was a three-way switch. So I had a switch over here and another switch that was on this wall that's already shoved up in the attic. But I'm going to try to get uh, the two feeds back together so that we can have lights in the other bedrooms um, while we're still working on this project. That door goes into the hall. This door goes into the master. So we're splitting it to where that will be a powder room with a sink and a toilet. And then over here in the master bath will be tub shower. And there was already a toilet here, so existing toilet. And then over on this side will be the vanity. Okay, I finished my rough end, so I wanted to give you an update before I start covering it up with sheetrock. So through these funny looking built-in holes is the powder room half bath from the, got the sink there plumbed in, switches, toilet's gonna be there. And so that'll be from the hallway. And then we've divided this part into the, now the master bath. These funny, any, these funny looking openings are gonna be two built-ins. We've got a built-in cabinet um, since we lost our linen closet. 
And you got the switches and vents and plumbing roughed in as well. The shower, tub combo. So there'll be a, a built-in cabinet there that'll stick out of the wall, be recessed into the wall for more space efficiency. And that'll be for um, linens and towels and such. And then this little built-in opening will be a built-in in the wall mirror that will have jewelry storage inside of it. And so this door goes into the master. And you come through over here, I've got plumbed in for the master vanity. And then the toilet will be on the other side of that knee wall. That is, uh, that's where existing toilet was already. And then that'll be a built-in shampoo cove in that knee wall. And I've got all this wood framed in. We're gonna have a piece of glass going up um, off the top of that knee wall. Probably not to the ceiling, but, but close. And then, so I had to put some weird wood in there because that was an existing um, medicine cabinet that, that I took out mirror that I had to fill in that void. And we got lots of wood right through there because we're going to do another piece of glass coming out off the top of the tub, possibly hinged. Haven't quite fleshed out what that's going to look like. But yeah, so we're going to start covering it up with sheetrock. So it's been a minute since I took a video. I finished the sheetrock on that wall and on the ceiling and I've coated it with primer and probably got it cleaner looking than it needed to be because I'm about to spray knockdown on it anyways. So we got all taped up here, ready to spray our knockdown finish. Uh, got the tub covered up good and all the walls because it goes everywhere. Yeah, all the sheetrock is finished, which took me a lot longer than it would a professional. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's been a minute since I've done an update on my progress, so starting to put in the shiplap nickel joint boards. Already got this above the toilet cabinet in. Painted the walls, got my knockdown done and painted. From this direction, this is the half bath, obviously, so the toilet goes on that side. Sink's gonna go over here. So I need to run my ship lap up there, set in the vanity, and we're moving. Update on this side, the master bath side. Got the tub framed in, sheetrock is done, ceiling has been sprayed with knockdown and painted, primed and painted. Got the uh, Hardy Backer quarter inch laid and seams done the other night so that we'll be ready to roll. So now I will set the vanity next as I'm doing the ship lap on these walls as well. And then start doing the tile in the shower. The thing on the ship lap that's proven slow for me is just trying to lay out my lines so that I don't have a joint right above the vanity or right um, below the crown mold or trim and just trying to space those joints out to make them look as best as possible. Kind of split the difference on those. So I'm back in the half bath again. Just showing you our current progress. Got that wall trimmed in there and I need to uh, caulk the seams on the edges there. I'm gonna caulk these lines, this painter's caulk, and cover my nail holes. And over here, we have the vanity set, leveled, and installed. And then we've got the shiplap going up this wall as well. So, had to try to get on the countertop people's schedule, so that's why we had to go ahead and get the vanity set, even though I have not done caulking and painting this and then I'm saving the last this piece is loose I'm saving I'm going to rip a piece in here to go from top of the backsplash in so that piece will be ripped in exact and then install these last two pieces together once the sink is in and or the countertops are in so yeah then we need to switch over my plugs and switches and hopefully get my new light in Try to do that today.
got my cement board up for the most part. I need to tape and uh, put some mud on the joints. I got a little piece here on the side and a couple pieces here in this shampoo code that still need to go in. I'm run, running low on screws, so I gotta go buy some more screws. Um, and then get that mudded up and then that'll be ready for tile. And then I got this little section ship lapped up to this knee wall. I've got my glass track in. So I was trying to rush, uh, or not necessarily rush, but get this stuff started so I can get my measurements because I got the countertop people coming to measure tomorrow. So I've got my vanity set and leveled on this wall um, so that they can measure for the countertop and the sink here. And then there's gonna be two little strips of marble that will hang over just a little bit here and here on either side of this glass. So I was trying to get to a, a more finished edge right here so they'll know what that distance is gonna be when they measure tomorrow. And the same thing, of course, I'll have to allocate for the tile that's gonna go on here when they take their measurements. But I think we're gonna to try to make it the same distance on both sides, even though the overhang might be shorter on the tile side. And uh, yeah, so moving right along. So I got the joints on the backer board mudded this evening. And you got the cove. That was probably the trickiest was getting all the fiber tape in there. With all those seams, corners, mudded all the fiber tape and mud on all these joints. Let it cure. Got a lot of my shiplap. I ran out of boards. I was trying to buy just enough. So that's where the built-in mirror and built-in kind of linen cabinet, I guess, will go there. And you can see where I kind of ran out of boards today. Uh, the countertop and backsplash will come up four and a quarter inches from the cabinet vanity there. And then those last two boards I'll cut in once the countertops are set. I'm just trying to get some stuff done while we're waiting on the countertops to show up. Give you this angle. And got the built-in temporarily sitting on some uh, or that uh, top cabinets temporarily sitting on some wood. And yeah, so underestimated how many boards I would need. Lumber is expensive. I was trying to hit it exact or close to. And um, I think I didn't take into account for the overlap flange and the size of these boards when I was counting up how many I would need. And yeah, so I had to go buy eight more and I'll finish it up tomorrow. So got about halfway on the tile job. We uh, end up using a ledger board. So I'm gonna have to go back and cut in those last for that bottom row. Um, so yeah, I just was nervous that it, it was off by like an eighth of an inch from one side to the other. I was afraid that it might come back to haunt me as I crawled up the wall, but so I um, put those boards and everything's perfectly level. We uh, got the electrical new plugs put in. Those plugs are gonna go in that built-in. Had to bring that built-in down to put in the plugs and it's gotta come down to do the countertops anyways and then we'll install it back up on the wall. We got all the plugs and now our lights and the fan. That one's a light and a fan. We're cut in, ready to go, trimmed out. So need to do some paint, a little more tiling, and hopefully the countertops get here.